them as a building information modeling. A long time ago we drew by hand, which was on tracing paper, and that tracing paper was used to build a set of drawings. Uh, then we moved to CAD, which was computer-aided drafting somewhat. It really didn't have the established databases that BIM does. And The building is inside a computer. Basically database everything that you put in it, the walls, the materials, the carpet, the electrical outlets, uh, plumbing, mechanical, all those things. Universities, medical, hospitals, they're asking for their buildings to be built in BIM. With the BIM technology, the building is built in a virtual reality. Your clients can see what they're going to be building before they build it. The program won't allow you to put two things in the same place at the same time. So if the contractors can actually crawl inside the spaces, see if there's any interference between beams and mechanical systems and plumbing and things like that. If you're a facilities manager, you'll have a model of it prior to being built. You're going to know what systems are in there, when the filters need to be changed. You could tie this thing to any sort of database and extract any kind of information out of it. There's also a sustainability component to using a building information modeling because with all the information you have about this building, you can actually put it in the site in the location exactly where it is with the uh, coordinates. You can do uh, daylighting studies, energy analysis, we move ahead with this green initiative. Building information modeling is, is really at the forefront of helping us to understand our buildings prior to putting them on the ground in reality. When you draw the line, you're actually putting a material in place, and that material can change very quickly just by going through a schedule in the design process, typically what you're trying to do is design to your client's budget. So within BIM, with all the quantities and the different methodologies, and you can get a pretty good idea of, of what your budget is. The future is going to be to where there's a collaboration between the owner, the architect, and the contractor, and the subcontractors, to where we all have the model, we all work with the model, we're going to be approaching going paperless with these models. You'll always have a visual reference. Take for instance, you've got a, a laborer on the job and you've asked him to go do something. Now you can bring him in and show him this is what the final product's going to look like. This is the stage it's going to be in when you get to it. Can you imagine, visualize having a huge holograph on your site where you're just setting up materials, putting them in place, you know, just following the, the model. <laughs>